We're gonna do five supporting claims questions in five minutes or less. I'm gonna show you how to tackle some of the toughest questions on the digital SAT today. Supporting claims questions can come in a variety of formats, but generally speaking, the question always asks you about supporting the claims or supporting a hypothesis. In this case, it says which quote best supports the claims made by those interviewed. If we take a look at the paragraph here, it says that journalist Karen Harris recently interviewed a variety of people on the subject of right-wing politics, and most of those interviewed agreed that right-wing politics are beneficial for the nation's growth and stability. But if we don't know what right-wing politics are, it might be tricky to figure that out, so I want you to keep reading a little bit more. It says lower taxes, limited government, free market policies, strong military, secure borders, protection of the traditional family. Let's look at our options. So first, we should not privilege any particular definition of family over others. All families should be respected. Right there, that's not traditional family. The second one says a strong family structure is the cornerstone of a strong and healthy nation and must be protected. That sounds like support for a strong traditional family, which is one of the right-wing politics as stated by the journalist. That is the only answer that truly supported any of the right-wing politics that were made. Second one here, which quote would support the main idea of the text? We need to find the main idea. Usually we're going to find that in the first sentence. I'm going to read it here. Journalists are increasingly recognizing the potential of wind energy as a sustainable energy source of the future. Okay, so we are looking for a quote that supports wind energy. There are many pressing issues and the energy crisis is one of them, but wind energy is expensive. Okay, it goes negative. We don't want it. I live on pristine country meadow land and I love the view I have on my front porch every morning. Can you imagine what it would look like with a bunch of windmills in the way? Wrong. Also, I think it would look pretty cool. Uh, wind energy is an important piece of our energy puzzle, but it should be used. As soon as I see this but, I can tell that this is wrong. Let's look at D. We need to invest much more into renewables such as wind. There's your right answer. It's, it's right there. What evidence would support Jared Diamond's opinion? I need to figure out what his opinion is. Let's take a look at the first sentence. He's a scholar and author who's devoted much of his research to the collapse of civilizations. He believes, there's his opinion, he believes that the collapse of civilizations is primarily due to environmental degradation, climate change, and the mismanagement of resources. A, a study in the Roman Empire showing that its collapse was not due to outside intervention, but rather to overextending its influence and spreading resources too thin. That does seem like that could be a good answer. It does talk about spreading resources thin. I like this one. Still, let's check the other answers. Archaeological studies on Saharan civilizations that existed and thrived for thousands of years with very few sources of water. Okay, that probably isn't going to support your argument because if they can survive with few resources, who cares if you destroy the resources or mismanage them? Uh, C, an investigation that uncovered a civilization that knowingly destroyed their own forests. And No, okay. I mean, that doesn't make sense either. If you're doing it knowingly, I don't think that's the right answer. A study showing that climate change is a largely modern phenomenon and affects our current society more than those of the past. That would also be wrong. So again, we can rule out B, C, and D, and that leaves us with A. What evidence would most directly support the researchers' findings? Let's figure out what those findings are. It says a recent medical study sought to confirm the hypothesis that regular physical activity can reduce the risk of disability in older adults. And we can see here towards the end of the paragraph, at the end of the study, the results showed that those who had a higher level of physical activity had a lower risk of disability. After a six year period, a participant who could walk one kilometer can now walk 800 meters. Okay, well that reduced. I mean, that doesn't seem like that's a very good piece of evidence. Evidence of a great grandfather being able to climb a set of stairs despite never doing high volume exercise. Okay, that doesn't support our theory at all. Participant records of feeling more fatigued and drowsy five months after completing their participation in the research. Uh, that doesn't sound good. If, you, if you're sounding worse after doing all this exercise, that's bad. We're left with D, an account of a lifelong marathon runner who's able to live independently in their three-story home at 95 years old. Good for that guy. Yeah, that's our best choice. And lastly, what evidence would support Kenzo Tange's beliefs? We got to figure out what his beliefs are. Let's look at our first sentence. It was a renowned Japanese architect who believed that architecture and urban planning could have a profound impact on people's lives. A talks about a university showing crime present in planned cities. I don't think that's the right answer here. I don't, he didn't really focus on things like crime in his comments there. A survey on overall life satisfaction in urban areas with heavy pollution and with ones in clean air where there's no difference. No, no difference is usually never the right answer. A report in which citizens overwhelmingly approve of a new office building in Tokyo that was designed using traditional architecture styles. That sounds like that could be a good answer. Like it's, it's a building that shows the traditional culture and people approve of it. So it confirms his theory, right? That like if 
people's culture and needs are reflected in their architecture, they will be happier and like their cities more. So we're gonna go with C. With supporting claims questions, the most important thing that you have to do is identify the claim. And so if it's not given to you directly in the question, you need to look around in the paragraph for what that claim will be. Usually you can look for words like showed, proved, believes, thinks, you know, argues, any of those words that can kind of help you find where the writer or author's opinion is. Use the first sentence of the paragraph to help you understand what the whole paragraph is about. And in some cases, you'll actually find the central claim there. It might also be at the very end of the paragraph. You just want to look for where that claim will be, understand what that claim is, and then pick the best piece of evidence to support that claim. Remember too that not all pieces of evidence are created equal. If you're dealing with a scientific text, you wanna make sure that you choose good scientific evidence, data using specific measurable things from the paragraph. Anecdotal evidence or people's self-reported ideas like surveys are usually not as good as a scientific experiment. So be careful when you choose those options. And now my people supporting claims questions. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.